friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am giving you my honest review of Gather Round's Intro to Psychology. If you have seen any of my other reviews, really more of my most recent reviews, um, I always get uh, thoughts from my daughter and share those with you guys. And then of course I share my thoughts. Uh, and so today is going to be no different. I will start with her and then uh, go into what I thought about the unit. For anyone that may be new here, my daughter is five. Um, she's almost six, she'll be six during the summer. Uh, and we are currently using the early reader level from Gather Round Homeschool. Uh, this is, oh goodness, our third, is this our third? Yeah, it's either our third or fourth um, main unit from Gather Round. Uh, this was actually not on our list, our list for this year, um, but it came out and it seemed like it was kind of good timing, uh, which I'll kind of get into uh, as I go through kind of my thoughts here. Um, yeah, and my daughter, she was interested in it, so we just went with it. And this is our review. All right, you will catch me uh, looking down and that's just because I have notes here, but we are going to start with uh, things that my daughter liked about this unit. Um, so she did like that there was not so much reading uh, and she specifically said that we only had to read the yellow sections. Now, if you have not seen the flip through that I have of this unit, I will link that up for you and I promise I will try to remember. Uh, if somebody will remind me to remember um, to put the link uh, in the description of that video uh, for you guys, uh, I would go there too. That would just kind of give you a better idea if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but basically the reading in this unit was color coded based on your student's attention level. Clearly we did uh, the least amount of reading. And so my daughter said she really liked that. Uh, she said that the notebooking was easier in uh, this unit. She says um, that she really liked learning about the nervous system. And I have heard that a few times from her. So I really do think that she enjoyed learning about that. And she said overall, this unit seemed easier than the other units we've done. Now, some of the things that she says she doesn't like or that she didn't like with this unit is the writing. And writing is becoming a common thread here um, that she says she doesn't like doing the writing. She does really well with it. We, I'm gonna try something a little bit different for our upcoming unit, which is going to be living off the land. Uh, and see if maybe that kind of helps us a little bit. Um, but yeah, it, she did say that was something that she didn't really like, but again, that's kind of been common theme and I'm gonna see if we can work on something with that. If you guys have any ideas, please feel free to leave those in the comments. Uh, and then the other thing she said she didn't like, really kind of surprised me, but she said she didn't like the devotionals in this, um, that are included in the unit because we have a devotional already. So I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, those are her thoughts. So I asked her if she had any final thoughts or anything that she wanted to make sure that you guys knew. Uh, and she said specifically, it gets five stars because I love it. There you, there you have it. And moving on to my thoughts, of the intro to psychology unit. Again, I'm going to start with things that I liked and then we will move to things that I didn't necessarily like. First thing was I liked the shorter readings too. Um, I felt that the amount of time that I was reading was fantastic. It was right around the 10 to 15 minute mark and that really was great. Um, it was enough that we got some information in um, but it wasn't so much that it was overwhelming and I felt the need to 
break it up or, or anything like that, like I've done with um, some of the other units that didn't have the color coding. So definitely, definitely liked the, uh, you know, the breakup of the read. My thoughts on the devotionals were I actually really liked them. I thought that they went incredibly well with the lessons. Now, I did not get the, um, the journal. There was like a, a separate Bible journal type thing uh, that you could get to go with the unit. I did not get that. So towards the end of the devotional, it would usually prompt you to grab your journal and jot some things down, which I feel like would be great if you had older students um, or if that's something you guys were doing together as a family or something like that. We just kind of opted out of that. And so we didn't, have, you know, we didn't write anything down, but I still really enjoyed the devotionals and we were still able to to get things out of it. Um, we just didn't take it to the journal and, and write anything from it. One of probably my favorite things from this entire unit was the fact that we were able to have a lot of conversation. There were a lot of topics and a lot of things that came up. Um, some things we've talked about before that, that, you know, we could use just a little bit of, of reiterating on or reminding, but then there were other things that got up, got brought up, um, during the unit that I've known maybe would be a good idea to, to bring up or to talk about, but didn't really, I, I didn't have a book that, that talked about, uh, you know, that particular topic or, we hadn't had a situation come up where we, we had the opportunity to have um, those kinds of conversations. Um, but this unit allowed for that. It, you know, there, there were plenty of times that we were able to have conversation um, about some really important things. Uh, and that's one thing that I didn't necessarily plan for. Um, you know, when I, when I was looking through the unit, I didn't necessarily think that this is going to be one that we're we're going to be able to talk about a lot of things so it was definitely a pleasant surprise um yeah and i i really for this it. next thing i had to go grab the teacher guide uh the teacher's guide one thing i liked were I, these out of the box um i don't know if you guys can can read that or not but well not really read it but see it um these out of the box sections were always someone it was about someone um and how their story related to the topic that we were talking about that day um this one in particular we were learning about um learning styles and uh we didn't get obviously we didn't get into um all of the ins and outs or anything like that um but it does discuss um oh who is in this one da vinci yes leonardo da vinci and my daughter is familiar with leonardo da vinci because we did the artist unit uh and that was actually like the artist spotlight that she chose was da vinci and we got to see some of his his stuff at the museum and it really it all just tied in and that's one thing that I really love just with gather round in general, but that's a whole nother tangent. Anyway, so this one particular had to do with da Vinci and the fact that um, it's believed that he had dyslexia um, because of looking back on his notes and things, things wouldn't make sense and his spelling of words would be uh, one way in one note, but would be different in another note. And so it was just a really cool way to kind of tie everything together and really get those pieces plugged into her brain um and a lot of them were just they were they were different people like people that we hadn't necessarily heard of obviously we've heard of da vinci this just happens to be the one um that i picked uh but there were plenty of other people in here that we had never heard of um and so it was really cool just to see them kind of spotlight um and you know get to learn about them and then of course it correlated with the lesson which is always fantastic and moving on to um things that i didn't really like with this particular unit um i liked the that the reading was less absolutely 
but I feel like now again keep in mind my daughter is she's five and a half almost six so for her and I was a I was kind of afraid of this um you know before we started this unit because obviously it's a very heavy topic and it's very detailed and and there's a lot that goes into it clearly um and so I was a little concerned that it's it would be over her head and it kind of was now I think Rebecca did a fantastic job and there was a lot that my daughter learned from it um obviously she said that she liked learning about the nervous system she thought it was easy um, but I think there were a lot of concepts um, that she just, she wasn't able to quite get yet because it's just a heavier topic. Um, so that's kind of a, it, it's, I hate to say it's something that I didn't necessarily like about it because it just is what it is. Um, she still did learn a lot from it again we had lots of meaningful conversations so I definitely don't think that it was a bad idea to do it or anything like that um, it just it still was a heavier topic um, and I definitely would wait until I we were a little bit older to come back to it um, just to make sure we're able to really get a lot out of it I would say if you are in the similar situation as I am, if you have just one younger only child, I probably would hold off on this one um, until they are, you know, until they're a little bit older or, you know, until you think it's a little bit more appropriate for them. Um, but if you have youngers, you know, and you decide to do it as a family group, I definitely think that there's, you know, there's plenty of things that they can get out of it. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of my thoughts on that. Also, I had really kind of wanted this unit to be more of a character builder um, and help us with character traits. Um, and we got a little bit of that, but just not quite what I was hoping for. Um, and I think that's just because of the nature of the topic i mean we're talking about psychology it is not a character trait unit we're talking about psychology and the function of the brain um so again i just was hoping for a little bit more i didn't quite get that but not upset about it we still did get some um and i mean i've seen a little bit of an improvement so i am not upset about that so all in all I liked intro to psychology. I definitely will put it on, on the back burner for a while. Like we probably would not come back to this, um, maybe to like middle school. Um, just because again, there's a lot of really good stuff in here, but I just feel like it's too much. Um, and I don't want to say too much because the reading really, really makes a difference being able to break down, you know, break down the, the readings, but it's just a heavy topic and there's just a lot that goes into it. Um, and obviously we've already done it as early reader, so I don't want to come back to it until, you know, several years from now when I feel like we, we really can dive into it and get a lot more in depth because I do feel like it was done really well and that we can get a lot more out of it. So when we come back to it, I just want to make sure we're we're ready for, for what it has to offer, if that makes sense. So that is it. That is my honest review of Intro to Psychology. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.